Matter of fact, the last time I lived alone, I was at JM, James Madison University as a senior and I had my own dorm room. I went from college to um, working, in, I worked for the governor of Virginia and I had a roommate, mm -hmm. to you know, moving to Los Angeles, had another roommate, to getting married, to having a daughter. I'm, I am like almost 50 and I could not think of one time it's interesting. In one time that I lived alone. I could not count on my fingers the times I was at home alone. I'm just gonna tell y'all if you're out here and you, <laughs> you haven't done that at, by 50, you gotta do that. How do you get to know you if you don't spend time with you? I was used to following what everybody else wanted to do, what everybody else liked. And so after being there probably about five days, I was like, wow. Like, I love this. At first it was weird, but I loved it. And it gave me a chance to start to get to know Pat again. So what's the value in finding yourself? Oh, it's powerful. We have one life to live. And I believe that for me, not living it authentically is a waste of time. Living it for other people, waste of time. I am here for a purpose, alone, pat, mm -hmm. aside from being a wife and a mother and running a charity or running a ministry. I was born for a purpose. You, to me, cannot fulfill your real purpose without being your real self. The only way you can serve your real purpose is to be your real self. <laughs> okay, let's put, tweet that one, Jane McQuarrie. That was, yes. <laughs> How can you, you gotta, you gotta yeah, be your real self. That's the whole reason we're here. <laughs> so is there anything specific you've learned about yourself? I don't know, over the past year or two, mm -hmm. something authentic that, you know, you didn't know about yourself. I mean, mm -hmm. it could be some things, I mean, is, is the, the hair and the look and, and all that, is that part of authentic Pat? I like it, by the way, it's pretty. I believe hair is an expression mm -hmm. of who you are and where you are, right? Mm -hmm. So definitely years ago, doing pageants in Virginia felt like I needed long hair right. to be successful in pageants there. We had never had a black Miss Virginia before. And yes, I started wearing extensions during that time. I started getting thinner during that time because they kept saying, well, you gotta slim down your hips a little bit. Well, I'm sorry, I'm a sister girl. Like I got curves, right? And I remember sitting on the floor trying to bang my hips down to get oh, them, wow. yeah, really, to try to get them thinner. Well, then here comes Jennifer Lopez being her authentic self and, you know, Kim Kardashian being her authentic self, Jack Janet Jackson, and it's accepted. I wish I had been that bold to just be what I am and who I am, accept it or not, um, and walk that out. What do you tell your daughters about body image? Body image is about embracing who and what you are, but being healthy about it. We don't want to encourage our young girls to be obese or overeat or anything, but we also don't want them going through what I went through, which was trying to assimilate to something in order to be successful or in order to be accepted. I think our girls, or no, I know our girls have a beautiful opportunity today to just embrace who they are. I'm really struggling right now as a woman with, in the, the era that we all live in, women are um, not seen as significant when they just choose to stay home with their children. When they choose to be, you know, the primary caretaker of their, their children to run their households, mm -hmm. maybe to even run their nonprofits or care for an elderly parent, I just, I struggle with that. Especially then marrying men that were very powerful, right? A lot of times I felt that others didn't see me as significant. I remember we were at a, a dinner and it was a group of us at the table and I pulled my credit card out to pay for dinner for everyone. So pay for dinner, it was very clear. No, I didn't try to sneak it, it was just like, oh, here's my credit card. One of the gentlemen at the table looks at Emmett and says, oh, Emmett, thanks so much for dinner. And I said, well, actually, I treated dinner. <laughs> which may not have been the most gracious thing for me to say, but when you just felt like you've been pushed aside and kind of, you sometimes those things just pop out. I felt like I needed to, to stand up, not just for me, but all the women out here that help build whatever you have. 
we just take different roles. And he said to me, well, you didn't run all those yards. Girl, in the moment, it was so shocking. And I came back at him with all that I, you know, I do, which wasn't necessary. But the point is, when I look at it, there's a lot of women out there like me. I see a lot of pictures on social media of you with your daughters, yeah. you with your girlfriends. Yes. Um, how, what does who you choose to spend your time with mm -hmm. have to do with self-love? Oh, it's huge. There are people that truly, genuinely love me. There's been times I have tried to fit into places where I didn't fit. And I would change to fit the circumstances versus just being myself. And so I've learned to go where the love flows. Oh, that's a wonderful phrase. I love that. Yeah, go where the love flows. We think of self-care as being bubble baths mm -hmm. or, you know, I mean, that's mm -hmm. kind of the cliche. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask you if you're just going to indulge. So let me tell you what I did. This is how much I indulged. I got the grocery store order in for bananas. Then I ordered the ice cream Sunday oh. and made my own <laughs> banana royale because I really wanted that that night. I like to just sit and indulge. I love ice cream. I love good food. So when I want to just go, uh, I order like something I have a taste for. I don't care how many calories, whatever it is. And my ice cream, my banana split, whether it's a burger, whatever. And I indulge. I enjoy it. I just go and eat what I want.